Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Sarah. For those of you who do, hi. So, Halloween dress, still October. <laughs> there would be more costume videos, but they're a little tight. <laughs> oh, and I have some little Halloween earrings. Can you see them? It's a wee ghost carrying a pumpkin. I have some really cool happy ghost ones and some really cool spiders. But these are the ones that had a pumpkin and I wore these because they match the pumpkin. <laughs> Okay, so today's video is a little jean pickup that we did in our local St Andrew's Shack shop. We got lucky, uh, we were just going up the street and James wanted to pop in. I was like, no, we'll not find nothing. And yes, we did. So yeah, I guess he turned it lucky and I tried to avoid it. I even took in a teeny tiny carrier bag so he couldn't shop. And they were like, don't worry, and gave him a big matalan one. So I was like, oh. <laughs> So we spent a total of 72 pounds. So that worked out at £6 a pair, although the tags are between £5 and £8, I think. But, you know, £6 a pair, yeah, round in the mouth. And we bought these, and then about a week later, because we follow St Andrews on the Facebook. On the Facebook? Oh my God, what age am I? 80? On Facebook. <laughs> on their Facebook is what I was trying to say. Um, and they've done a post now every so often. They'll post, oh, come to the shop for this, come to the shop for that. They posted these jeans about a week later saying come to the shop we have these jeans come buy them and it was like a week after we'd already bought them so <laughs> they were a little they slow. literally just get put out on the shop floor mm -hmm. and no straight at the till in my bag <laughs> yeah yeah so ugh, so we spent eight pounds some of these jeans some jeans Summer spent five. fiver and then i looked up four and i'm not really sure the value of these and i said to them we gave me the last four pairs for five pound each so that's what made it go to six pound a pair yes the lovely george gave him a deal so £72 and then it worked out at £6 a pair. So you guys want to see them? So, no. No, I was going to say, the guy says the Harry's in must have money because they're all good brands, but he says yeah. he's going to hand in lots of tops and we've been in like four times this week and he's not <laughs> handed these tops in yet. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think he went on a bit of a diet and lost some weight or gained some weight, but I'm sure it was he lost some weight so he got rid of his trousers. So, yay for us. <laughs> well, yay for James, not for me. I hate taking photos of trousers. But, oh. <laughs> So these ones are Jacob Cohen, is that how you say it? Uh, they're just like plain blue and then they've got the white big J like on the back. Like a furry label, a hairy label. That's weird, isn't it? So any modern numbers on them? It's just... Um, handmade, only selective, exclusive fabrics, so, tailored jeans. Like pen, look at them. Yeah. That's the label, if you don't know what they're like. And they've got Jacob. Cohen on these bits as well. Okay, so these ones are Barber. They are, they're kind of like, a, I want to say burgundy colour. Yeah, a wine, on wine the burgundy colour. The same colour. But these are, these are like a, what's the word I'm looking for? What's that material? Velour or velvet? Yeah, they're weird. But Cord they're nice. They're not cords, are they? It's no, like they're a... not cords because they don't have lines. See? No lines. Just a fuzzy oh, material. Oh, that's a weird, I don't like that material. Mm -hmm. These are... Just 100% go on, so cool. <laughs> Who have we got next? We've got some more Jacob Cohen. And again, Cohen? Cohen? Cohen, isn't it? Cohen. I don't know. Cohen. I don't know how you pronounce it. I always get the two dots above his E, so I'm not really sure how that would be pronounced, but these have the cool shiny red label. Yeah, that label's like, um, it's like hair again, little pricks of hair. Was it hair? But then it's like metal. Yeah, I feel it. Sticks up. Oh, shiny, so it? It? oh my god, it's like an animal. Yeah. I've seen the shininess. Well, that's a little bit creepy. Now that I've, I've built it, it's like it. Yeah. That last pair of jeans was really heavy. That's just thought yeah. we fine hairs. Yeah, I never noticed that that pair was the same. That's what we got. <laughs> so these ones are Dolce & Gabbana. So they've got the metal buck tag. Bring it over here so you can see. I don't know how close to go. It says Dolce & Gabbana via San Damiano 7. Milano, Italia. And just nice dark. Oh, oh. oh where the camera sits. Yeah. So. Can you? <laughs> I'm behind the camera. See, left them up so people see them. Yeah. Because she's showing you the jeans, you only see half the jeans. <laughs> okay, these ones are Paul Smith jeans, and they just. Not really any says, pattern with them. It's just the plain blue. PSG. Because I was like, what is PSG? And then realised PSG means Paul Smith jeans. My size 36 waist. 
and you see there's like a bit of detail in the Postmouth so I didn't either just got where the buttons sit and also seen something else there what's that see? <laughs> oh I don't know what I'm seeing Probably just throwing them over there <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it under your I'll fix it for you I'm oh, sorry I'll need to put them in a bag in a minute anyway so we have Hugo Boss just plain blue Hugo Boss the blue bit I've got like um, a bit of white washing down in these yeah, you can see that on the camera so I get it back a little bit later at the bottom here. Hmm. Was she not? Yeah, they're, these are the ones that the the advertise on the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. These and a few other pairs. Yeah. But the, it's kind of weird because the good brands were five to eight pound, mm -hmm. but the Levi's were like eight ten pound. Uh, no, actually I think Levi's were eight pound, but left yeah. them behind. A bit too dear for Levi's. That's got that like, cool butt print. Yeah. It's like happy, and then it's got a really cool, like, well made badge. That's, I just need to get my name in your ass. <laughs> There's such a friend over here. Machine or jeans. Anything else for these here? No, not that I know. And they've got like, what do you call it, tapered or weird lines? Just above the knees. I don't know. So, more Paul Smith. Again, just plain blue, but this time it's got like a green tag. If not on the back of them, it's the back leg. Just lean on the back way. And just copy you now. Just the stuff. Take yeah. <laughs> you up to the end. Yes. Uh, <laughs> these ones are Armani jeans. J08, if that means anything to you. Yeah, I sold them in the past £50 these jeans. So yeah. then they hopefully got I'll get £50 again for them. Nice. Back. One form of this one is complete forward. As the label's kind of a little bit undone. So I might put a wee stitch in that just to hold it down. He says that. <laughs> if they end up in our pile of things to do work on, they'll be there for the next five years. Well, if they're worth £50, pounds, we can get stitched straight away. <laughs> yeah, Less the prices have been down in eBay, but I'm sure we got £50 pounds for the jeans before. Okay. These ones are Versace Collection. They're just black jeans, but then they've got the fund. We will go in the back. I don't mm. know if you can see it where. I don't know what that is. Is that a person's face? It's weird. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Not a clue. Like... It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like a face with like a big quiffy hair. <laughs> like John, that cartoon, is it Johnny something? He's got sunglasses and he's always like this with a big plastic. And it's a cartoon. <laughs> Can't remember what it's called. And these are Versace jeans too. And it had some writing, I think, on the butt, but it's sort of. And there's like the stamp or something. It's really. I don't know if you can yeah. see it. It's got right in the other butt. The original it says. Yeah, but it's got like a stamp or something. There's a Versace stamp yeah, in the bum. Faded. And then... A little bit distressing down the, oh. the edges. <laughs> There's a Versace bit there as well. Right, sorry. Let's go like blue. <laughs> and, oh, those are the last pair. Well, that was the last, I don't even know These what ones, ones are Prada. Yep. But they've not got a back label, but it's very faint, point forward. Yeah. You can see it just here. So it's Prada. And you can see Prada on the buttons. Yeah. But like a bluey black. I've got a safety pin in the bottom of the leg. I don't know what that's about. Oh, I thought that was about a oose. No, it's a safety pin. I could just see sun shiny. Not wearing the glasses again, so. That, that, was, a, that was a really good haul for £72. Yes, it was. And I'm hoping <laughs> one pair of jeans would pay for the whole lot once you do our research. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Either the Moschino jeans, maybe, or the the Greg Cohen. No, Greg Cohen. Jacob. Jacob Cohen. Greg. Where the hell no, no, that? No, <laughs> Jacob Cohen might pay for it all. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. If one pair of jeans doesn't pay for it all, two pairs definitely will. Yeah, well, you should see the amount of stuff I'm listing at the minute. Since EB decided not to give us fees, we have been trying to smash through it. Although you've seen our piles, well, I don't know if you did, but my piles are massive and I do them like one mannequin at a time. So I'll do all the manny stuff and then I'll do all the Quinn stuff, I mean, all the boy stuff and then all the girl stuff. Right. Right, she says manny and Quinn because she's named off mannequins. Yeah. The boy's manny and the... Girl's Quinn. Yeah, you're Manny Quinn. Manny Quinn. Absolutely weird. <laughs> I'm out there a lot by myself. <laughs> so all the bottom halves, like jeans, they're just getting piled up because they're just a coat hanger. So they are going to be... 
fucking hopefully something in this decade <laughs> if I ever get through all the tops. Um, so that is it for this little bundle. I hope you liked it. <laughs> now that we've got all the resale and stuff aside, we wanted to take a moment to send our love, thoughts and prayers out to our lovely friend Alan Starbuck who recently sadly lost his wonderful wife and we just wanted you to know that even though we're not there in person to help support you, we are thinking of you, you're in our thoughts and I'm sure everybody in the reselling community that you have spent so much time supporting are sending their love to. Um, so, mwah, to Alan and family. Bye guys. Thank you.